Hi, my name is Matthew Yochov, and in this 5 minutes video, I'm going to demonstrate you a Verse Analytics platform. First of all, Verse Analytics platform consists of the three main components, which are dashboard, reporting, and administration. In the dashboard, we can see the list of the customers. For example, we can select any of the tenants, and for that tenant, we can select the time range for which we want to see information. For example, last 5 minutes, last hour, last 30 days, or maybe a custom range from a particular date and particular time to the particular date and time in the future. Let's select the last 30 days. On the main dashboard page, you can see the top talkers, uh, top talker branches by the volume. You can switch to the top talkers by the bandwidth, by the received information, transmitted information, and you can always change any of the uh, tabs on the main dashboard from the pie view to the bar view or maybe column view, whichever is more comfortable for you, or download any of the images that was generated by the system. In addition to that, you can see at the bottom of the screen map, which is integrated with Google Maps, where you can see all of your appliances. For example, in the United States, we see site 3, branch 1. We also see site 2, branch 1 and branch 2. If the system is drawing something like a blue line between branches, it means there was some traffic between them. And if we want to zoom in and check specifically what was happening, we can just click on the name of the branch and we can see where exactly uh, this traffic was happening. If we want to see details about any of the branch locations, what was happening on that branch particularly, we can always click on it and we can see the usage statistics of the bandwidth of by that site. We can see the availability within the last 30 days of that branch site and we can see that it was unavailable somewhere around the 7th of October. We can also see the statistics of the throughput over the last month for the sd one traffic and direct internet access traffic. Uh, in addition to that, the system allows you to check the top talkers uh, by the IP addresses on the particular branch. We can also see what was the most uh, common applications that were used by the users on that branch and we can see them by the number of sessions or by the bandwidth, the average consumed bandwidth uh, or we can see for example which of the applications, top applications you were using the system the most. And if you want to see uh, which application in particular took the most sessions during the last month uh, or downloaded the most data, you can always see this at the bottom of the screen. Also, the system allows you to check the SLA metrics. The top SLA metrics are a top problem from this branch to any other branches. We can see the statistics over each of the VRFs that deployed for this customer on that particular branch. In the security section, we can see the uh, main applications that this customer, all of the branches that deployed on this customer, were using over the last month. We can see the particular applications and we can see even statistics when those particular applications were used. In addition to that, there are multiple th uh, feeds like the applications by the risk, by the productivity, by the families and so on. In addition to that, we can see the information about the system. For example, we can check for the branch one side three that the average CPU load over the last 30 days was approximately 20%. And at the same time, the memory load was maximum 40%. So this side is pretty much okay. In the log section, we can see information about the DHCP leases, or we can see information about the firewalls, what was happening and when it was happening, like from this source IP address to that destination, the application Ubuntu tried to download some data. And specifically that flow from, was a load, and the rule, as the one rule was wildcard, it went from one interface to another, and so on. We can have a lot of different information. The reporting screen allows you to generate any of the reports that we see in the dashboard, but in the customized format. For example, we want to see the sd wan statistics of all the branches and add it uh, to the report. After we added multiple report times, for example, we added something from the security and something that we added uh, from the sd wan section.
the system builds two graphics for us and we can download them in the PDF format. Or if we want to uh, not only download it but maybe schedule them, we can always click on the save button, uh, give a name to the report, that's a report one, and schedule how often this report should be generated and where it should be sent. I hope this short video was informative for you and thank you for watching.